So we understand pointers in C, and we understand the difficulties you can have when allocating arrays. Now I'd like to talk about dynamically allocating two-dimensional arrays, so that is an array of arrays. So here I have declared a width, which is 4, and a height, which is 2. And also this variable r, which will be our two-dimensional array, which is an int star star, so that's a pointer to an array of pointers. We're going to set that equal to a malloc of the size of an int star multiplied by the width of our two-dimensional array. And the first element of this array we're going to malloc to the size of an int multiplied by the width multiplied by the height. So that means we've allocated two arrays, one of which is an array of four int stars, and the other is an array of eight ints, and eight being the width times the height, which is the number of elements in our two-dimensional array. Now we have a for loop. Um, for each other element besides the first one, so for i equals one, i is less than the width, i plus plus, we set the array at i to be the array at zero, which is a pointer to the first element, plus h times i, so the height of our two-dimensional array multiplied by the current index. And what this does is it will go through each pointer and it will set it to point to our array of elements, which is two steps apart. So the first element will point here, the second element will point here, and the third element will point here. Now to access an element within our two-dimensional array, we can simply call upon the um, row number and then the column number. So 2, 1 will give us 0, 1, 2, and then 1, 0, 1. So that will give us this element out of our two-dimensional array. Now the reason I think this way of allocating dynamically a two-dimensional array is better than, say, mallocking a new um, column each time we go through our for loop is because you end up with a nice contiguous block of memory. And this is much better if you do a lot of accesses as it keeps it very local for the CPU. So that's allocating two-dimensional arrays. Thanks very much.